Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another Pi game with Python tutorial video from Syntax for Bucky and the New Boston. What we're going to be doing in this video is triggering a game over or a you win. So, depending on what happens, once your health goes below, you know, once you run out of health, you know, zero or less, you should have a game over. And then if you get the enemy's health down, you know, to zero or less, um, you should have a game win. Right now, we just go into the negatives, healths, negatives of health and nothing's happening. So, uh, let's go ahead and remedy that. So, the easiest thing to do is, you know, once one of these two events occurs, we launch like a little sequence to basically play over. So, um, so basically that sequence is going to be very similar to something like game intro. Um, so what we can do is we can take game intro here uh, and we'll basically just, just, just copy this and let's paste game intro and basically just right below it'll do. And this one we'll call, instead of game intro, it'll be game over. And we'll rename this to game over. And then while game over, um, we run this. So, um, so, okay, yeah, so like right here, uh, we could do, let's see. So game over equals true, and then we can also put game over uh, there for false. Uh, otherwise, what's going to happen is they're going to be asked to press. Oh, actually, these key presses are kind of silly. We don't. We're not really using them anymore, so I'm just going to delete them. Um, so while game over, basically, we just need to rename "Welcome to Tanks" to "Game Over." Easy enough. Um, and then this is "You Died," basically. Uh, and then finally, uh, we can just delete these two. And well, instead of play, it'll be play again. And uh, that's no problem. We can leave controls there, that's no problem. And then quit, that's no problem either. So, um, so that's it for game over. Let's go ahead and just run. Um, well, now we'll leave it this way. So actually it'll, it'll show up if we run it. So let's go ahead and run a game over. Game over. Right. Game over, you died. And we see the play again button is a little too small for the text, so let's go ahead and fix that really quick. Uh, play again width, we'll make that 150. Let's try it one more time. Good. Quit. Nice. Uh, so game over works. And now we need to have like a you win, right? So we'll just copy and paste the same thing. Copy this. Paste, uh, you win, <laughs> and then win equals true, wow, win, uh, good, 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 and you won, congratulations, you win nothing, play again, we'll just leave that there, everything else remains the same. Uh, just to check, let's run the you win real quick. You win, congratulations, play again, controls, quit. And if you hit play again, oh, what happened here? Game loop is not defined. Um, action, play. Why would it say game loop is not defined? Um, Maybe because we just haven't, well, we probably just haven't got there, so we'll just load these for now. Uh, and now what we what we can do is come all the way down here. Because really, you're not going to call them that early on. So I think that's what the problem was. Um, sorry, I was making sure I wasn't leaving the game over function there. Anyway, so we can come all the way down here now. And basically, anywhere around here, we can just ask the question, um, if player health less than one, so that means zero or less. If player health less than one, game over. L if enemy health less than one, you win. Okay, uh, let's see, make sure that works. 
He's going to win anyway, so we'll just let this happen. Oh, he can't hit me, apparently. Let's get into range for him, I guess. <laughs> Look at that shot, man. That guy, like, threaded that. Yoink. All right, I should die at this point. Game over. You died. Play again. Okay, so, yeah, that was... I figured because it just hadn't been initialized yet, but... Um, okay, so now we actually have some game over. Although, we'll pretty much never beat the enemy because, wow, that was a good shot. Because of this, he's always going to get that first shot no matter what. And you're just always going to lose. <laughs> uh, boo. Controls. Quit. Okay, so, um, so now we've got that done. Um, the next thing that we wouldn't mind doing is, so we can kill him. But first of all, he is just way too powerful. So we need to give him a little bit of randomness. And then once we give him some randomness, we'll find that if we're able to find the target quick enough, then we'll just keep pressing fire and it's not really a fun game. So then he needs to move. So that's what we got going up, uh, coming up next. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.